Welcome to the MyPlaceForParts.com garage, presented in partnership with ShopOwner. And now here's your host, Doug Kaufman. Let's get right to the point. Winners don't have time to procrastinate. Procrastination is the act of delaying or postponing something that should be done. It's also responsible for numerous business quotations and motivational posters. American hard worker Benjamin Franklin once said, never leave that till tomorrow, which you can do today. Of course, American humorist Mark Twain later laughed, never put off till tomorrow what you can do the day after tomorrow. Procrastination is when you know what to do and when you should do it, but delay doing it anyway. This is a poor behavior that hinders productivity. Obviously, if you, your business, and or your employees are postponing something that should be done today and tomorrow, you're not maximizing your time and your results will suffer. Too often, we say we're waiting for the perfect time to get something done. In reality, we're just waiting. Don't wait for success. Go for it. U.S. Army General George S. Patton said a good plan violently executed now is better than a perfect plan executed next week. While you don't want to make rash, hasty decisions, you also can't afford to lose ground and risk failure due to your inability to act quickly. Face your challenges head on. Even though it's human nature to want to avoid difficulties, high achievers typically excel at overcoming challenges to reach their goals. They're proactive and demonstrate a sense of urgency. Procrastinators are reactive, taking the path of least resistance and avoiding challenges. Go all in. When you're fully committed to something, you're focused and motivated to take action and get the job done. If you're not passionate about it, it's easier to just let it slide. Isaac Newton's first law of motion states a body at rest will remain at rest until an outside force acts on it. That's as true with our productivity as it is with bricks and apples. Effective leadership and a winning team culture are tremendous forces to get people motivated, moving, and progressing, minimizing procrastination. It's easier than ever to be overwhelmed by necessary but ultimately low-value activities or by exciting, interesting, no-value activities. Winners don't let the wants get in the way of the musts, or they find mediocrity taking the place of a championship. I'm Doug Kaufman. Thanks for watching.